Alberta is known for being a hotbed of dinosaur discoveries, but could you end up making that next big find? Well, it could even be in the heart of a city. Brenda Nelson just keeps coming back to one specific place in the Edmonton River Valley. The one bone has a tooth mark on it, so somebody was chomping on this dinosaur after he died. 30 years ago, as a teen, she made her first dino discovery. It became an obsession after that. You know, you find something, then you learn it's a dinosaur bone, and you're just like, oh my gosh, is there more there? Can I put more together? Can I build this dinosaur? Her collection has grown over the years, and she's hoping to connect with others who might have made similar discoveries. When it comes to fossil collecting, these amateur scientists play an important role. There are very few paleontologists working in the world, but there are lots of people who are interested in dinosaurs and in fossils and paleontology. So we really rely on volunteers. At the University of Alberta, they've made essential scientific finds thanks to someone stumbling upon a fossil. They just hope people know the law. So if you do uh, illegally uh, excavate a fossil, that is so without a permit, um, then there is up to a $50,000 fine or actually a jail sentence. If you have to dig, it's illegal to move a fossil. So they hope you take a picture and report it. You want to look for the holes. But if it's already loose on the surface, like Brenda's, you can grab it. And he said likely a herbivore dinosaur. She had hers identified decades ago. It's likely an Edmonton saurus, which as the name suggests, are common in the area, meaning she gets to keep her finds as long as they don't leave the province. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.